in a cross leg posture. Feeling our sit bones. Allowing our spine to be erect. Chest wide open. And slowly drawing the attention towards the tip of our nostril. Feeling the movement of the breath. Take this moment to prepare yourself physically and mentally for the practice of Yogasana. Slowly bring your palms to your heart center. Let us do three rounds of home. Breathe in. Listen to the prayer. Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Mahishwara Guru Saksha para brahma tasmay shri gurave namaha dhyana moolam guru Jabulam Guru Padam Mantra Mulam Guru Vakyam Mok 
ಮೋಕ್ಷಮೂಲಂ ಗುರು ಕೃಪಾ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ ಅವರ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಸನಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಸೂರ್ಯ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಪ್ stand in top of the mat keep distance between your feet palm facing front observe your body this how you feel in your body today become aware of your breath we will allow our breath to be relaxed and deeper in every pose that we are going to practice today and also we allow our body to be comfortable and still in the postures we are going to practice today let us begin our practice with surya namaskara bring your palms to your heart center bring the feeling of devotion into your heart let us do the practice of surya namaskara as a prayer inhale rise your arms above your head exhale start bending forward from your hips feel the movement happening from your hips abdomen close at your thighs with our next inhalation try to take your right leg backwards and the right knee on the mat ashwasan chalana asana in here rise your arms also your torso let's hold this pose for three breaths extend your tailbone engage your core and open your chest exhale bend forward bring your hands on the mat take your right toes and take your left leg backwards to plank exhaling bring your knees chest and chin on the ground 
Inhaling, lift your head. And you just to Bhujangasana, toes pointing outwards. Exhaling, tucking the toes and lifting the hips towards the sky, coming to Adho Mukashvanasana. Let's again breathe here for three rounds. Press your palms, your feet. Allow your navel to move towards your spine. Our next inhalation, bringing the right leg between the palms. Inhale, rise your arms above your head, open your chest. Exhale, bending forward. Taking the back toes and bringing the left leg forward and forward fold. Inhale, we'll slowly start coming up. Asana. Exhale. Bring your palms to your heart center. Let's do the same on the left side. Inhale. Rise your arms above your head. Synchronize your breath with the movement, exhaling, bending forward. Inhaling, taking the left leg backwards this time. and rising the arms above the head, opening the chest. Try to bring your inner thighs towards the midline. Exhale, bending forward. Taking the right leg backwards to plank. Exhaling, bringing the knees, chest, chin on the ground. Inhale, lifting the head and the chest. Exhale to down the top. Holding the pose for three breaths. Bringing the left leg 
between the palms to Ashwasanchalanasana. Rise your arms above your head. Exhaling, bending forward. Inhale, bringing the right leg forward and forward fold. Inhale, rise your arms above your head. Hasta Uttanasana. Exhale. Bring your palms to your heart center. Inhaling, raising the arms, go ahead. Hasta Uttanasana. Exhale, bending forward from the hips. Holding the pose here for five breaths. Relax your back of the neck, shoulders away from your neck. You can bend your knees, bring your abdomen to your thighs. Keep your breath smooth and continuous. Be very graceful with your body. The next inhalation. Take your right leg backwards to Ashwasanchalanasana. Press your palm, tuck your right toes and stride on the right leg. Keep your chest open. And once you feel comfortable in the posture, Bring your arms in line with your back. Three breaths here. Inhaling, start lifting your torso up to high lunge. Two, exhale, bring your abdomen onto your left thigh. Keep moving your fingers away from your body. Engage your core. Inhaling, coming up. Exhale, bend forward. Bring your hands on the mat. Inhale here. Exhaling, bring the right leg forward. Forward fold. Holding 
the pose for three breaths. With our next inhalation, take our left leg backwards. Ashwasan Chalanasana. Taking the left toes, straightening the leg. Taking the left heel a little backwards. Engaging the core, lifting the chest. And rising our arms. Bringing the arms in line with the back. Inhale, lift your torso to high lunge. Bring your inner thighs closer to the midline. Extend your tailbone. Exhaling, bend forward. Abdomen on your Right thigh. Inhale, lift your torso. Exhaling, bending forward. Hands on the mat. Inhale, bring the left leg forward, fold forward. Rising the arms above our head. Inhale, slowly come into Hastavuttanasana. Exhale. Stand in Tadasana. Observe your body. Observe your breath. Placing the hands on our hips. Inhale, take your right leg backwards. Adjust your back leg so that you feel easy to keep your hips square for the Vaurivan posture. Veeravadrasana. Lower your hips. The left heel and the knee are in line. The body weight is mostly on your back leg. Just 20 to 30 percent on the front leg. Rise your arms above your head. Let's hold this pose for five breaths. Keep activating your perineum muscles. Engage your glutes. Lower abdomen. So your inner thighs. Exhale. 
exhale bring your hands onto your hips straight on the front leg inhale rise your right arm up exhale the left palm on the lower back lengthen your spine the next exhalation we start bending forward from our hips all the way down keep pressing your heels opening your chest Inhale, rise your right arm up. Slowly start coming up. Exhale, relax your right hand. And inhale, bring the right leg forward. Stand in Parasana. Practice the same on the other side. Bring your hands to your waist. Inhaling, take your left leg backwards, one leg distance. Adjust your back foot. Bring your hip square. Pelvic facing the front, chest wide open. And next exhalation, lowering the hips. The right knee and the right heel are in line. Inhaling, rise your arms above your head. Become still in your posture. All your awareness moving towards your breath. Bringing the hands onto the hips, straightening the front leg. Placing the left palm on the lower back. Rising the right arm up. Exhaling, start bending forward from your hips. Be totally present in your practice. Keep witnessing that openness happening in the body. Inhaling, we start coming up. Relax your hands. And stepping forward to Tadasana.
feel both sides of your body. Bring your hands onto your hips again. Inhale, just take the right leg a little bit backwards. For the warrior three posture. Keep holding the hands to your hips and slowly start shifting your body weight to the front leg. Bring your palms to your heart center. Once you feel comfortable here, stretch your arms in front of you. There's no need to lift the leg back up, but keep pressing the heel backwards. Feel your perineum muscle. Exhale, bring your hands to your waist. Drop your back leg down. Step forward to Tadasana. Now step in backwards with the left leg. Engage your core, give your glutes, micro bend your front knee, and slowly start shifting body weight to the front leg. Bring your hands to your heart center, keep pushing the left heel back, and extend your arms in front of you. Bringing the hands to the hips and bringing the back leg down. Step your left leg forward, standing the asana. Inhale, rise your arms above your head. Exhale, lower your hips to the Utkatasana to chair pose. Your knees are behind your toes, keeping your chest open. Keep working on engaging your perineum muscle. Bring your palms to your heart center. Below the gentle twist. Inhale, exhaling, bring your Left elbow on your right thigh. Open your chest to the side.
Inhale, coming back to center. Rise your arms above your head. Bringing the palms back to the heart center. And gently twisting towards the left side. Both the shoulders are in line. Just wide open. Inhaling, coming back to center. Exhale, bend forward. Pada Hastasa. Okay, legs backward. And slowly lower your body to the mat. Bring your toes out. Hold your hands in front of you and rest your head. Makarasana. Breathe through your lower ribs. Bring your feet in hip distance, toes pointing out. Place your palm under your shoulders. Elbows closer to the body. Inhale with the support of your hands. Lift your head and your chest. To Bhujanga Asana. Let's hold the pose for five breaths. Your shoulders are relaxed. Bring your shoulder blade closer to each other. Exhale, bring your head down. Hold your hands in front of you. Place your chin on the mat, stretch your arms forward. Press your pelvic on the floor, engage your core, engage your glutes. Inhaling, lift your right arm and your left leg. Tip of the fingers moving away from the midline. And also the toes moving further away from the body. The 
Exhale. Bring it down. Inhale, switch. Exhale, bring your head down. Place your palms under your shoulders. Inhale, lift your head and your chest. And then lift your arms above the mat. Breathe. Exhale, bring your head down. Inhale, lift your body, relax in child pose. Inhale slowly, start walking your hands backward. Sit on your heels. Exhaling, stretch both legs forward. Come into Dandasana. Place your palms next to your hips, both the feet flexed. Place your palm on your lower back. Try to lift the lower back. Lengthen your spine. And then place your hands next to your hips. Inhale. Exhaling, bring your chin towards your chest. Breathe here for five rounds. Inhale, lift your head. Exhale, fold your right leg, the right heel touching the perineum. for Chan Shirsasana. Inhale, rise your arms above your head. Open your chest. Exhale, start bending forward from your hips. Grip your left foot, if possible, otherwise grip your chin, wherever you feel comfortable. Bend your elbows to the side, open your chest. Just breathe. Inhale, rise your arms, slowly start lifting your torso. Exhale, bring your hands from the side.
me stretch the right leg. Exhale, fold the left leg, left heel touching the perineum. Feeling your sit bones, lengthening the lower back. Inhale, rising the arms above the head. Exhaling, start bending forward. And your elbows to the side. Relax your back of the neck. Breathe through your back. Inhale, slowly start coming up. Exhale, bring your hands from the side. Inhale, stretch left leg forward. Exhale, fold the right leg vertically, right heel closer to the right buttock. Place your right hand supporting the back. Inhale, rise your left arm up. And exhale, bring your left elbow out of your right knee joint. Lengthen your spine, press your right palm. And exhale. Twist towards your right side, look back. Inhale, turn your head forward. Exhale, relax your hand. Inhaling, stretching right leg forward. Exhaling, folding the left leg. Supporting the back with the left hand. Rising the arms, right arm above the head. Exhale, gently twisting, placing the right elbow out of the left knee joint, lengthening the spine and turning the head backwards. Both the shoulders are in line, shoulder blades are engaged. Inhale, turn your head front. Exhale, relax your right hand. Inhale, stretch your left leg forward. Exhaling slowly, lie down on your back. Palms next to the body. With our exhalation, we'll fold both the legs, heels closer to the buttocks. Palms on the mat. With 
for inhalation. Start lifting your hips. Lifting the chest towards the chin. To say to Bandhasana, bridge pose. Engage your glutes. Keep bringing your chest towards the chin. Exhale, lower your hips. And bring the knees closer to chest, hug your knees. Inhale, stretch your arms to the side, palm facing downward. Inhale, straighten both legs, both the feet flexed, keeping your whole back on the mat. Bring your navel towards your spine, engage your core. And slowly with your exhalation, start bringing both the legs closer to your right hand. And exhale, turn your head towards your left hand side. Open your chest. Allow your shoulder blades to sink into the mat. Engage your go. Slowly start lifting both the legs to the center. And with your next exhalation, taking the legs to the other side. Turning the head towards the right hand. And shoulder blades coming closer to the mat. Breathe through your lower back. Inhale, bring both legs to the center. Exhale, bring your knees closer to the chest. The knees bent. Exhale, we bring both the knees closer to our right armpit. and turning the head towards the left hand. Keep pressing your inner thighs. Keep opening your chest with every breath.
bringing the knees to center. Exhaling to the other side. Both the knees closer to the left armpit and turning the head towards the right hand. Relax into your posture. Bringing both knees to center, hands closer to the body, palm facing down. Try to new legs. Draw your navel towards your spine. Slowly with a, in 10 counts, start lowering your legs. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Bring your hands under your buttocks, palm facing downwards. We'll do supported fish pose, elbows closer to the body and closer to each other. Engage your shoulder blades. With the support of your hands, lift your head and your chest and place the crown of your head on the mat. Feel no pressure in the neck. Your hands are supporting your whole body. Open your chest. Inhale, lift your head. Exhale, place your back of the head on the mat. Relax in Shavasana. Arms facing upward, rest your whole body weight on the floor. We'll relax here for five breaths. Then we'll continue with the practice of pranayama. Witness your body. Feel the openness and lightness of the body.
with your next exhalation. Bring your feet together. Inhale, rise your arms above your head. Exhaling, roll over to your right side. Slowly come into any comfortable cross leg posture for the practice of pranayama. If you need to sit on the bolster or on the block or next to the wall, feel free. And just try to maintain that stillness in the body throughout the practice of pranayama. We'll continue our practice with Brahmhari Pranayama. Brahmhari Pranayama is a very calming practice. In the Brahmhari Pranayama, when we are exhaling, we'll start generating the sound of the bumblebee. So the procedure for the practice is we will use both of our hands. We'll try to close our ears with the thumb and placing the rest of the fingers on the top of the eyes and also next to the nose. So when we inhale through the both nostril, And as we exhale, we start humming like a bee. It will be like this. Trying to hum throat or exhalation. We'll do this practice for 11 rounds. Begin when you're ready. Mm. 
Completing 11 rounds, relax your hands. Slowly bring your palms to your heart center. We'll sing a very beautiful Shanti Mantra. Lokaha Samastha Sukino Bhavantu. The meaning of this verse is let there be peace, harmony all over the world. Repeat after me. Lokaha Samastaha Sukhino Bhavantu Lokaha Lokaha Samastaha Sukhino Sukhino Bhavantu Bhavantu Lokaha Samastaha Sukhino Bhavantu Let's recite Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti together. Breathing. Oh. Shanti
नमस्ते